Good afternoon, and welcome to the fourth and final in our series of resource roundups. We're really happy to have you here today. I'm Barb Bresner, coordinator of the Disability Resource Expo. We've created these mini virtual events as a way to share with you some of the important information, resource information that you would get at our live event, which unfortunately we had to cancel this year with the pandemic. Today, we're gonna to hear from our education and services for young children organizations. Now I'm gonna turn it over to uh, Jim Mayer. All right, thanks Barb. So the event today is gonna to start with a nice overview of our 18 exhibitors for today, where you're just gonna get a nice overview of the services they provide. And then later in the event, you'll have a chance to visit with a couple of them in the breakout session. And so Barb, I'd like you now to talk about our wonderful sponsors. And we do have some great ones. Uh, we just want to say a huge thanks to the amazing sponsors that have been so generous and helped us to make this event a reality. So thank you so much, all of you. Welcome, Illinois Assistive Technology Program. We're happy to have you here at the Resource Roundup today. Robin? Um, why don't you tell us, uh, if, can you give us a little overview of the program? Sure. Um, Illinois Assistive Technology Program is a not-for-profit agency that promotes the availability of assistive technology devices, services, and programs for all ages and all disabilities in the state of Illinois. IATP's programs include our demonstration center where you can see devices, our device loan where you can borrow devices, financial loans that can help purchase devices. Our reuse program has donated equipment that is available to help consumers. And IATP also can offer some trainings, presentations, IEP support, work incentive and benefits planning, AAC and AT assessments for school children, valuations for DRS customers, and information and assistance. IATP is a great resource for all your assistive technology needs. Wonderful, Robin, thanks so much. And now could you tell our participants what's the best way for them to connect with you for further information? They can reach us at 522-7985, sorry, that's area code 217, or on our website at illtech.org. Wonderful, thanks so much and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Hello, Anwar and Rayanne, welcome to the third Thursday resource roundup. We're very pleased to have you here representing DREZ at the U of I. So Anwar, let's kick things off by asking you to give us a nice overview of the services offered there at DREZ. All right. Uh, the DRESS was established eh, to support students with visible and non-visible disabilities across the UIUC campus. They offer support by assisting students with any accommodations they need in order for them to be successful in college. Some of the accommodations that they offer include career services, academic coaching, transportation, study abroad support, physical therapy, occupational therapy, counseling therapy, testing, accommodations, and a gym for student athletes. Additionally, they offer back with residential support services, which provides a completely accessible dorm on campus for students with disabilities. This program was designed for students that require assistance completing their activities of daily living, such as eating, showering, dressing, et cetera. Great, great, great information. Uh, Rayanne, why don't you um, give us, uh, how, how do people connect with you if they want to find out more about DRES? Sure. So we have a student services phone number that they can contact. Um, it's 217-333-4603. We also have our regular business phone number, which is, um, again, 217-333-4603. 1970. And then they can also send us an email at disability at illinois.edu. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks for joining us today and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Welcome, Lauren, to the resource roundup. We're happy to have you today with us. 
Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Urbana Free Library and, and the services you offer there? Sure. So the Urbana Free Library serves the residents of Urbana. Um, we have over 457,000 items, digital and physical, that people can check out. That includes books, CDs, movies, musical instruments like guitars, vinyl records, board games, video games, uh, science equipment like telescopes, hotspots, and more. Um, some of our digital items that we have, there are thousands of audiobooks and eBooks with adjustable font sizes, as well as different databases that will help you learn a world language, research something, um, find out more about your family history, and so much more there. Uh, one last service I do want to mention is our home delivery, which is where someone who has a mobility issue that prevents them from coming to the library can contact us and then set up to have items, um, either titles they want or subjects delivered to them uh, once a week. Wonderful. Great, Lauren. So how do people reach you if they want a little more information about that service or others at the Urbana Free Library? There are two really great ways to reach us. You can either email us at reference at urbanafree.org or you can call us at 217-367-4057 and we are more than happy to help. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much, Lauren, and enjoy the rest of the event today. Thank you. You as well. Thanks, Lauren. Hello, Kristen, and welcome to the third Thursday Resource Roundup. We're very pleased to have you here representing Parkland College and the accessibility services. Uh, can you give us a nice overview of the services you offer there? Um, sure, thanks, Jim, for having me. Um, so the goal of our office is to provide academic accommodations for students who have a disability. Um, so if you have a physical or mental, mental condition that impacts your learning, um, we are here to help. Some of the services that we provide are extended time on exams, readers for exams and quizzes, sign language interpreter services, note-taking services, and classroom assistance, and many other um, as well. And so to get registered with our office to be eligible for these services, um, first students need to apply to Parkland. Um, and then once you've applied to Parkland, um, you can get registered with us by submitting documentation of your disability. Um, once we receive your documentation, we will then schedule an intake appointment. Right now, we're having intake appointments virtually. Um, and during that appointment, we will talk with you and um, just get more information and find out how your learning is impacted by your disability. Um, and then at that point, we will approve some accommodations. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. Um, if you are needing accommodations for a placement test, it is definitely a good idea to get registered with our office um, before you sign up to take your placement test. That way you can use accommodations for the placement exam as well. Um, and so to contact us, our email address is accessibilityservices at parkland.edu, or you can call us at 353-2337. Great, Wonderful. thanks, Kristen. Welcome, Continuum Behavioral Health. We're happy to have you here at the Resource Roundup. Uh, Jamie, can you tell us, give us a little overview of what you do at Continuum Behavioral Health? Sure. Hi, I'm Jamie Brayton, and I'm with Continuum Behavioral Health, and we provide ABA therapy in the home, school, and community. We primarily work to address the needs of those who present with signs or symptoms associated with autism spectrum disorder and related developmental disabilities. Our approach to ABA really works to configure a program that is specifically designed for your child with the input of family goals. Our programs are designed to increase the ability to function and communicate with strong focus on independence. We truly love to make connections with our families and support them through the entire process. And in central Illinois, we are currently serving the counties of Macon, Champaign, McLean, Peoria, and Sangamon. And we also offer a variety of behavioral and educational services online. Wonderful. Thank you, Jamie, for that nice overview. And now could you tell us if people want more information, how do they best connect with you? Sure. So our phone number is 630-286-0026. And you can also visit our website, which is www.autismspectrumalliance.com. 
Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for that info, and we hope you enjoy the rest of our event today. Thank you. Hi, Nicole, and welcome to the third Thursday Resource Roundup. We're very pleased to have you here today representing DSC's Family Development Program. Um, could you give us a nice overview of your services there? Sure. Uh, under the Family Development umbrella, there are three programs, Early Intervention, Parent Wonders, and Caregiver Connections. Early interventions provide evaluation, screenings, developmental therapy, speech, and communication feeding disorder services. Uh, so any child that has a qualifying just delay can qualify for those services. Also within that program, we have Play Tri Project, which is a research-based autism program that focuses on some play and relationships to support that social and emotional growth. We also have a dedicated developmental screening within that screener within that program that covers all of the uh, Champaign-Urbana area. Within Parent Wonders, it's a free home visiting service that provides support for pregnant and parenting mothers in Champaign County. We work with families prenatally up to the youngest child is three. Uh, and then we have Caregiver Connections, whose role is to support providers, uh, daycare providers, along with family and communities to build nourishing pop, positive relationships, healthy social, social emotional development, and resiliency for all young children. And sometimes the programs kind of in intermingle and a family can go through all three programs. Wonderful. Well, uh, Nicole, if somebody wants to uh, learn more about your programs, what's the best way to connect with you? Uh, probably my phone number, uh, my direct line. It's 217-356-9176. And my extension is 320. And then I can make sure you get to whoever you need to get to. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much for being here and you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Welcome, Carrie, to the Third Thursday Resource Roundup. Uh, why don't you give us a little overview, if you would, about the uh, Down Syndrome Network and what you do there? Oh, absolutely. So my name is Carrie Bidkiff, and I sit on the board for the Champaign County Down Syndrome Network, also known as DSC. So really what we do is we partner with families and others within the community um, just to make sure that individuals with Down syndrome feel welcomed with fairness, enthusiasm, um, and that we're really connecting with the community. And our mission is really to empower um, individuals with Down syndrome along with their family, and then really um, make sure that we have that inclusion and celebrate individuals with Down syndrome um, within each of their communities. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Carrie, for that nice overview. And now can you tell us if people want more information about the local Down syndrome network, how would they best connect with your organization? Um, there's two ways that are best to reach us. Um, one of them is through our Facebook page. So um, it is CCDSN, which stands for Champaign County Down Syndrome Network. Um, or if you would prefer to email, you could just email info at champagnedsn.org. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much and hope you enjoy the rest of our event today. Thank you so much for having us. Hello, Jennifer, and welcome to the Third Thursday Resource Roundup. We're so very pleased to have you here today representing Crisis Nursery. Could you give us a nice overview of the services you offer there? Hi, thanks for having me. So Crisis Nursery is a 24-hour emergency care facility uh, for children ages birth to six. Our mission is the prevention of child abuse and neglect by supporting and strengthening families in crisis. So um, what is a crisis um, to us? Um, it might look like something different for some of our families. Um, a sudden illness, hospitalization, work school related problems, homelessness, parental stress is a big one, um, domestic violence. We allow the family to define their own crisis. Um, so within our programs, we have our Safe Children's and our Strong Families program. So as our Safe Children's program is um, the families experiencing a crisis or an emergency. So we provide care for the children um, and then we provide meals, snacks, um, basic care items, diapers, wipes, formula, clothing. And then we have our strong families program, which is a little bit more involved, um, providing um, support and resources and services to the families. Great. And how can folks connect with you if they want to learn more? 
So they can call our um, our crisis line at 217-337-2730. Um, we also have um, our Crisis Nursery Facebook page um, that gives out a lot of information. Um, we're on Twitter, um, all sorts of things. So they can get contacted that way as well. Okay, well, thank you for being with us and you have a good day. Thank you, you too. Welcome, Mindy and Shauna to the Third Thursday Roundup. Um, why don't you folks give us a little information about uh, Larkin's Place at the Y and a uh, nice overview of what you do there. Hi, my name is Shauna Beyer. I'm the Larkin's Place Director at the Stevens Family YMCA, and I'm also a speech language pathologist. And my name is Mindy Borden. I'm an occupational therapist and a certified aquatic therapy instructor here at the Y. Larkin's Place is not a place. It's a concept where we believe in inclusion where possible and services for all, even through our pandemic, with the priority of health and safety for our members and guests, we have been fortunate to continue some of our services. Whether it be recreational opportunities for individuals with disabilities, speech language services, occupational therapy support, music therapy, nutrition, adapted swim or aquatic therapy, the Y has a program for you and your family. We are credentialed early intervention providers and also provide supplemental services to our school-aged children. Come learn about what we do and how you can become a community partner for Friday Night Fun. Great, well, thanks so much you guys for that nice overview. And now can you tell us how would people best get in touch if they want more info? They can contact me, Shauna, directly at 217-239-2849 or therapy at ccymca.net. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much and enjoy the rest of our event today. Thank you. <laughs>
Um, we've been around for 10 years and added many highly trained staff and lots of additional services along with ADA. You know, we recognize that no two clients or families are the same. So our program is highly individualized and based on the needs, strengths, priorities, and desires of every family that we meet. We try to meet them right where they are to provide skills and services that they can implement permanently. That's wonderful, Joy. Thank you for that great overview. And now, if folks want to connect with you to, to Baby Start Services, what's the best way for them to reach you? Well, the best way is to go to our website, which is can be found at bpiaba.com. Or they can call us at 888-308-3728. Wonderful. Well, thanks so much, Joy. It's been a delight to have you here. And uh, we hope you enjoyed today's event. Oh, I love it. It's always a pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for the good work that you do for our community. Thank you. Hello, Irene, and welcome to the third Thursday Resource Roundup. We are very excited to have you with us, and we'd love it if you could give a nice overview of your services. Well, hello, Jim, and thanks for having me. It is an outstanding opportunity to participate virtually for the Disability Resource Expo. Greetings from Champaign County Regional Planning Commission, Early Childhood Education Program, a Head Start Program. Our services in Champaign County offers many services to children, ages birth to five-year-old children. And additionally to pregnant mommies, our focus is to provide support for our family advocacy efforts, nutritional efforts, healthcare efforts, and dentistry care within the community. The primary focus is to build a great future for the families within Champaign County that are eligible to participate in our program. Thank well, thank you, you so oh. much for that nice overview. Uh, if folks want to get in touch with you, how would they best do that, Irene? I'm going to give out my cell phone number, which is the best way right now because I'm not in the office alone. It's area code 309-222-3444. You're welcome to leave a message. And also I'm going to issue my my work email address to Barb and, and copy you as well, okay? Great, thank you so much for being with us today, Irene, and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you so much and it's been a great opportunity again. Bye-bye y'all. Bye. Welcome Cheryl Deary uh, with Champaign Early Childhood Center. We're really happy to have you with us today at the uh, Third Thursday Resource Roundup. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, the uh, Early Childhood Center? Sure, thanks for having me. Um, I am the principal at Champaign Early Childhood Center and we are part of the Champaign Unit 4 School District. Uh, we offer a high quality preschool uh, experience for our students. We're largely funded through the State of Illinois Preschool for All grant. Research shows that the best thing that you can do to prepare your child for school is to enroll them in a high quality preschool program. Um, so what you are on the right track by looking into preschool for your child. Our students attend for two and a half hours per day, five days a week, Monday through Friday, either in the morning or the afternoon. There's no cost to families for our program. Uh, we also are blended, meaning those students that qualify for special education services are in the same class as their same age peers and have the benefit from good language models. We offer English as a second language services, and we even offer a dual language Spanish program and a dual language French program. We are part of the Illinois Accelerate Gold Circle of Quality, which is the highest rating given by the state of Illinois for preschool programs. And we also are the recipient of the Award of, of Excellence for Inclusion of Children with Special Needs. You must live Wonderful. in the city of Champaign, and all children have to be screened before we enroll them. Wonderful. And Cheryl, is there a phone number people can call if they want more info? 
Yes, uh, families can call 217-351-3881. They can also go to our website, cecc.champagneschools.org. Great. Well, thank you so much, Cheryl, and enjoy the rest of the event today. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello, Katie, and welcome to the third Thursday Resource Roundup. We're so pleased to have you here representing the Urbana Early Childhood School. And now, can you please give us a nice overview of your services there? Absolutely. So the Urbana Early Childhood st School staff is committed to providing a high quality individualized learning program for eligible preschool children. Classroom activities focus on a concern for the child's total development, including communication, cognitive, physical, and social emotional development. Children in the classroom grow through play and through interactions with each other and their caring adults. Play interactions and environments are designed to foster children's initiative and independent learning. The activities and the environments reflect developmentally appropriate practices and the natural interests of the children. The early childhood classroom provides services for children ages three to five who live in Urbana and children attend school for two and a half hours daily. There is a morning and afternoon session and transportation is provided. Children enrolled at UECS have been identified through a screening and assessment process as needing either special education services or a school readiness experience. And students who are not enrolled for special education services must meet the Illinois criteria for at-risk families. Each class serves up to 17 children and one teacher and two teaching assistants form the core teaching team for the classroom. In addition, there's support staff that support the students in the classroom as well. All right, great information. Um, if someone wants to get more information about Urban Early Childhood School, how do they contact you? So they can contact our office and our phone number is 217-384-3616. Um, and we have myself, I am the assistant principal and our principal is Beth Ladd and can call and talk to either one of us. Great, well, thank you for joining us today. You have a great day. Welcome, Kathy, Illinois Radio Reader. We're so happy to have you here with us today at our third Thursday Resource Roundup. Thanks for um, doing this. Yeah. Why don't you uh, give us a little overview of uh, Illinois Radio Reader and what you do there? Well, I'm the director of Illinois Radio Reader program. We've been bringing local newspaper readings into the homes of print impaired listeners for over 43 years. If for any reason a person cannot or someone they care for cannot reprint, and would enjoy listening to local newspapers, magazines, book readings by volunteers, all they have to do is call 217-333-6503. You can get more information by going to our website, just Google Illinois Radio Reader. You can listen to a live stream and see the daily schedule. Applications for American Echo, sorry, Amazon Echo or radio receivers is also on this page. There's no cost for the service, that's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day. We didn't even miss Christmas and New Year's Day this year. Either call 217-333-6503 or look for us on the web. Despite COVID, our volunteers are providing daily readings so that you can stay in touch. I look forward to hearing from you and it'd be nice when everybody can get out again. Wonderful, Kathy. Thank you so much for that nice overview and thanks for being a part of our event today. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Kathy, and welcome to the third Thursday Resource Roundup. We're so pleased to have you, you here today representing the University of Illinois Extension programs. If you could please uh, give us a nice overview of some of the services you have there. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I work with University of Illinois Extension and I get to teach money management to community members. And I just love my job because I get to do things like free webinars. I have a podcast, Family Financial Feuds, and I'm here to answer questions that you might have about your finances. I also have a chance to work with wonderful volunteers in our Money Mentors Program. 
and people in the community go through training with me and then they're available to meet with people one-on-one -on -one free um, confidential meetings to help people reach their personal financial goals. And so I'm wondering, what does you, what do you want your financial well-being to look like in the future? And how can I help you? I hope that I get a chance to work with you in this next year. That's great, great resources, it sounds like. Um, how, if somebody wants to connect with you and find out more about the program, how do they do that? I think the easiest way is to go to our website and it's a short URL, go.illinois.edu slash money mentors. Or email me, it's my last name, Sweedler, S-W-E-E-D-L-E-R at illinois.edu. Great. Well, thanks so much for joining us today and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Welcome, Vicki, to the Third Thursday Resource Roundup. We're glad you've joined us today. Um, why don't you give us a little overview of WEFT, uh, WFT's Disability Beat? Sure. Um, WEFT has been in existence now for about 40 years. Disability Beat is a public affairs radio program at that station, which is community radio. So anybody who wants a show can go through the training and, and have a show, either public affairs or music. And I did this starting about 15 years ago. Um, the program is a half an hour long. It airs from, on Mondays from 5 to 5.30 p.m. And it's all about issues that are important to people with disabilities, whether they're young children, adults, uh, providers, um, any number of topics will be covered on the program. I typically do news every week, and then I do a um, interview each week. Wonderful, Vicki. Thanks for that nice overview. And so now if, if folks want to connect with you to get more information about uh, the show or about uh, WEFT, how do they best connect with you? The best way to do that is to get me by email. And the email address is disabilitybeat at gmail.com. I'd love to have people contact me if they're interested in being on the program or have ideas for the show. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today and hope you enjoy the rest of the resource roundup. I will. Thank you. Thanks, Vicki. Hello, David, and welcome to the third Thursday resource roundup. We are so pleased to have you here with us today uh, representing amazing sensory designs. Uh, and we would like it if you could start by giving us a nice overview of the services you provide there. Okay, so once again, my name is David Mays and welcome to our sensory co uh, corner here. And Amazing Sensory Designs, we specialize in customized sensory room designs, customized adaptive equipment, and also customized sensory toys for children with autism and adults with intellectual disabilities. Our products are very beneficial when helping individuals reach their maximum level of independent functioning and kind of eliminating that sense of uh, isolation and all, with all the external stimuli, stimuli that are going on out there with COVID-19. Um, at this particular time, we're offering a 30% discount on all our products and services and all our consultations are free. We can be reached at amazingsensorydesigns.com or you can give us a call at 773-501-6796. And let's take a sensory break. That's great. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, David. And, um, you know, we hope you enjoy the rest of, uh, of the event today. Thank you very much for having us. Bye-bye.